Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I want to take a brief second to show you the difference between a constant line and using a reference line. I had uh, somebody come and ask me, he said, hey, I would like to add a constant line to this chart, a value, a threshold value, a reference number. And so they had come to an the analytics uh, tab and grabbed the constant line and pulled it over to the table. Put in a value of 10,000 because that is a quick way to be able to tell if this is above or below and you've got the value there. Now that's one way of doing it and it's fairly limited into what you can do. What I like or what I prefer is coming over here, right clicking, selecting add reference line. Now you can do the exact same thing but you've got a lot more um, variables you can play with. We're going to come over here under line and we're going to select constant and we're going to put 10,000 here and we're going to have we're going to still have the value maybe we want to change it to custom instead and we'll just say maybe there's a minimum population to be called a city so there we go so there is that well sometimes it can be a little bit a um, little bit close Let's actually come here and change this from a line to a band. We still have the constant value of 10,000, but now we can change this. Um, let's change it from 0 to 10,000. And now we can change below it to a different color, maybe a little darker. And now you can quickly see which of those cities are above that line, which break the water line. So that's just a little flexibility that the um, reference lines give you. Let's remove that. Let's maybe say we want a band. This is going to be, we're going to change this to constant. Now, obviously, you can cheat, keep it as um, the average or the total, or the maximum, or the minimum. And we're going to say 9,000 to, change that to a constant, 10,500. And so now we've got a, these are cities in the red zone. We'll change that to, we'll change that to none. And now you got cities. This is, happens to pop, be population. You could have it for sales performance, you know, percent of sales or um, quotas or whatever. And then you can quickly see which of those cities are in the red zone and the ones that you may need to spend a little more time paying attention to. So that's some of the flexibility the reference lines give you that you don't get from the constant line on the analytics page.